it is a humid one out today. Uh, hold on, hold on. I don't know, is that any better? What is up everybody? Welcome back to another Steam Boss video. It's a hot one today here in Florida, but uh, it's gonna be a little quick one, but we got some outdoor cushions to do today. Now, uh, we don't really have too many videos of doing outdoor patio furniture, so I figured we'd make uh, one on the stuff we're doing today. It's not overly terrible or anything like that, but they do have uh, so a little bit of mold and mildew on them, which we're gonna uh, get out for the customer. So without further ado, let's see what we got going on. So the Steam Boss van's kind of a mess today. We just came from another job. So everything kind of just got thrown in there, but we have our little station here that we're working on setting up. So we got our little table. We're gonna just be doing these in the driveway. So here are the outdoor cushions we're gonna be doing. So you can see here, we got some, some stains there. Sue's bringing the rest around. Okay, here's a good example here. So this is what we got kind of going on here. Not sure exactly what it is, but we're gonna do our best to get these out. So this is actually a pretty popular thing to do here because a lot of people have outdoor furniture. Speaking of, I'm gonna say anything to the viewers today. Hi viewers, how are you? How is it, what's, what is the, they always say, how is everybody in TV land? TV land, yep. TV land. So as she's bringing those out, I'm gonna go ahead, get the rest of these hoses all set up, and uh, we'll get good to go. All right, so we pretty much got everything all set up over here. So we're gonna start by using uh, some Sagers 10 Below on the cushions to start. We got our Sapphire scientific tool here. And we're also gonna be sealing these and since everyone always asks kind of what products we use, uh, we're going to be using the Sagers Super Sealer uh, on these particular cushions to make sure that they stay clean as long as possible, especially being out by the pool with the kids sitting on them and being all wet and everything else. So uh, she's got about half the cushions here we're doing. You can see some of the uh, some of the issues here on these cushions here. Well, these should turn out pretty nice. Uh, so I think I'm gonna get some spray in these and let's get cleaning. Spot there we'll have to work on. Go back a little bit. They're looking pretty good over here got one of these done so what we're using for some of these spots which they've already gotten a lot lighter is we actually have a little bit of a, a peroxide mixed up in here we use these kind of like foam uh, soap containers so we kind of just uh, let that sit on there we'll stick it out in the Sun for a little bit get it going on there now you have to be careful what you're obviously you're using peroxide on but we know they're good on these outdoor cushions here We're getting there. Uh, Sue's over there kind of putting the sealer on some of them. They're turning out real good. Got about four or five of them left to go over here. So we do have a couple of ones that uh, you can see here. There's a little mark, mark, mark. That wasn't really getting any better. So without further damaging the, uh, or trying to damage the cushion, we're gonna stop there. But she was still really happy with it because this was actually the one that was really, really bad all over here. So uh, probably 85% of it came out. We got a little few things there, but overall, coming out really really well these are increasingly popular to do uh, mainly because they're just so expensive like you wouldn't think outdoor furniture would be that expensive but for good outdoor furniture it's very expensive so um, we've been doing more and more of these lately and uh, getting pretty good results so if you guys are in the Tampa area looking to have your outdoor patio furniture done <laughs> you know who to call Looking good. Minutes. 
that's it. Pretty much all done here. Got two more to go that we're working on a couple of shots. Got a little bit of the uh, peroxide sitting on there. But overall, much better. Customer already came out. He's very happy with the way they're turning out. So, getting there. So that's gonna do it, pretty much wrapping up all these. Turned out really good. The last two that we're sealing, and uh, we out here. Phew, it is hot out today. Gotta be careful with this peroxide stuff, because if you do get on your hands, it does kinda tend to burn a little bit. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I know it's kind of a short one, but just wanted to show you guys what was up with us for today. I think we're going to lunch, because I am hungry. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you aren't, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you to all our new subscribers. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of good stuff. Check out our website at www.steamhouseinc.com. And as usual, we'll see all you guys on the next video. Peace.